Next up, I visit Carla. She is the owner of Freshie in Westboro, and she talks about some of the misconceptions about owning a franchise and, of course, how the pandemic has had an impact on her business, her clients, and her employees. The decision why I decided to open Freshy is because I got very into the healthy lifestyle and I was very much into yoga and that, you know, healthy, clean lifestyle. And then I realized that there weren't a lot of opportunities to eat healthy and to eat, um, you know, eat healthy in an affordable way, quick serve so that you can be in and out. So I started looking at different business opportunities and Freshy was a, a, a good option for me. We sell uh, salads, we sell burritos, bowls, uh, smoothies, coffee. We sell a little bit of everything. Our big crowd is usually our lunchtime crowd. Uh, although with COVID, it's, it has shifted a bit. It's, it's actually starting to be a very even split between lunch and dinner. COVID impacted our business in a huge way. Actually, 2020 was our best year yet. We've been open for almost four years in December and we were rocking 2020. It was like January, February, you know, and then the beginning of March, they were amazing months. We were growing leaps and bounds and then obviously COVID hits and all of our big catering contracts, our school contracts, we were starting to expand now to, to local schools to provide healthy lunch uh, options for, for children across the, the school board. Obviously they all came to a halt. So because it's mainly also a lunch crowd or 80% of our sales were lunch, when everybody started working from home so that you know that, that that goes their business or there goes their business so it definitely did affect and we started to think outside of the box and think what else could we do in order to maintain sales one way or another and uh, yeah so we became at a point a grocery store where you know we started delivering groceries to our customers houses the ones that didn't want to feel comfortable going to groceries at the beginning of the pandemic and we just started to see about other ways of, of innovating and pivoting the word of 2020 to uh, make ends meet and to make sure that uh, we stayed afloat. Some of the misconceptions about uh, being a franchise is that it is a uh, you know that we have the glossy corporate name and that they're all a big corporation and we're not. Uh, the majority of franchises uh, that you see in the street are actually owned and operated by your neighbor. It's, it's you know, usually a family owned and operated business who has the same struggles as the business next door and potentially even more because I also, on top of everything that I have to pay, I have to pay for my royalties, I have to pay for my marketing fees, um, you know, that will help to go into a national fund so it may or may not benefit me or my store right away. So yeah, th there's a lot of misconceptions with, with franchises, but what I do want people to know is that is your neighbor who's probably operating and having the same difficulties as the business next door. We do, you know, we employ local, we train local, like the, even if it's a franchise, the, the, the revenue and the operations and the economy stays local, regardless of it being a big name franchise. We, we obviously stand behind the Ottawa Public Health um, health protocols that they've been established or implemented or tried to implement in all businesses across the Ottawa region. But in terms of our employees, we do uh, temperature checks um, every day. We've always been very finicky with our, with our health and safety just because of the, the you know, the nature of our business is about health, fresh, and, and all of those types of products. So we've always used gloves. So now, obviously, our, our staff, they're all using face masks. Uh, we have, you know, standard and, and actually above standard uh, hand washing procedures. The, we've moved all of our skip the dishes, third party delivery pickup over to the front so that they can go in and out. We want to stay encouraged and we want to stay positive and we want to be, yes, we can do that. We're stronger together. But then you're seeing the reality of a, one store closing after another. And it's, it's hard to keep that level of positivity and level of engagement on a daily basis. There's some days that are really hard to stay motivated and to stay positive and to say, yes, I can do it. Because it's, it, it really puts your mental, your, like your mental strength to a test. So I think now more than ever, it's, it's, it's a time to be working together in one way or another.
All right, that does it for this week's episode of Operation Support Local. I want to remind you, visit our website at rogerstv.com. If you have a story idea, reach out to our producers. And don't forget, tune in each and every Friday at 6.30 p.m. for brand new episodes. We'll see you next week.